Heroes and villains, welcome to the Thunder Spy server. What's going on my gaming friends and family, members of the PGP? Yes, I am transitioning over to the Thunder Spy server. Now, is this the one? Is this the server that I'm going to play on from here on out? I don't know the answer to that question yet, but we're going to give it a test run. We're going to try it out and then just kind of play it by ear and see how things go. Now, if you don't know why I'm making this change, I will link my last video down in my pinned comment that will explain some things. And then you also might want to check out my Twitch channel. I'm not even trying to promote it. You can ask somebody and they'll get you a link to it. But I actually did a live stream last night, the day before posting this, for about two hours. And we laid it all on the table talking about the homecoming servers and everything that went down with all of that. So you can check that out. This is not the video really honestly to discuss that. The point of this video is to just announce that the first server that I myself am going to be playing on, streaming, creating content from is Thunder Spy. And I also want to do another disclaimer. Actually, before I do the disclaimer, let me tell you the point of this portion of the video is to show you how to play on Thunder Spy. I probably should have said that at the very beginning, right? This is a quick, super short tutorial because it's very easy to play on Thunder Spy. But the, the quick disclaimer is to let you know I am not pressuring anyone to leave the homecoming servers. And I do not expect anyone to leave the homecoming servers. I want to make that very clear because I'm getting a lot of hate thrown my way saying I'm trying to to pull everyone from those servers. That's not my intent. You know my motto around here. Do what is best for you and what is most fun for you, period. So do not feel pressured to come over to this server. You could play on multiple multiple servers if you want. So you could play on Homecoming and Thunder Spy and Rebirth and Cake. And uh, I'm probably missing a couple, but you can play on multiple ones or you could transition over to this one. You can do whatever you want to do. I am not pushing anybody to do anything. So with all that mumbo jumbo out of the way, let's dive in and let me show you how you can very quickly be playing on the Thunder Spy server. The very first thing you are going to want to do is head over to thunderspygaming.net. That's going to be the website for this server. Sometimes you're going to see it referred to as COXG. Sometimes you're going to see it referred to as Thunderspy or Thunderspy Gaming. All the same thing. But once you head over to that site, you're going to want to scroll down and create an account. You're going to need an account to log into the game and play it. So that makes the most sense. Go ahead and do that first. Uh, once you scroll down from there, if you're already using the Tequila Launcher, this is going to be the first way to actually get into the game. You can actually copy and paste this manifest you see right here into your Tequila Launcher. And I'm going to show you how to do that right quick. So you're literally just going to highlight this manifest, Control C, then we're going to pull up Tequila, head over to Options. Go down here to Manifest, Control-V to paste it into that spot, click Add, and then OK. Now at that point, I'm going to exit out of Tequila, relaunch it, and there we go. Now this is going to take probably a couple of minutes as it installs some things and makes some changes. But from there, you would literally select the COXG, which is the only option at that point. You can see the multiple manifests I have here. Click play, log in with that new account you just created, and bam, you are in. Now another way you can play this game if you don't prefer the Tequila Launcher or maybe you just want to use a separate launcher for Thunder Spy, that's very easy to do as well. On the same website, thunderspygaming.net, uh, you can go to the number one option here, download the Sweet Tea Launcher. So we're going to go ahead and click that. Uh, that's going to put the installer down on our bar here. So we're going to click on that. If you're running a Windows 10 machine, you might potentially get this pop up. The Sweet Tea Launcher is 100% safe to use. I'm using it now and I've used it in the past. So what you want to do is just click on more info, select run anyway. That should be a one time pop up. You shouldn't see that ever again. Uh, then if you get a user account control pop up, uh, you're going to want to click yes on that as well. And then you're going to see here uh, the installation setup portion of this. Fairly simple and straightforward. Me personally, I'm going to drop this on my desktop. Uh, so let me go ahead and do browse, desktop, OK, and install. Very quick, short, simple. 
to the point I'll show you it's going to drop a folder on your desktop if you do the same thing that I did that is labeled as sweet tea so I'm going to open up that folder uh, the sweet tea launcher is the one labeled as application and you'll notice it's a little glass of sweet tea pretty cool so we're going to launch that and here we go this is another way to access the Thunderspy Gaming and uh, several other private servers as well. But you could literally click on it here. Uh, you might have to validate it potentially. Again, I've already had all this stuff installed. Once it's ready, you can select launch. And then you're ready to go. So again, yes, that is where I'm going to be streaming, creating content. Again, not diving into all the details, but I cannot do that on the Homecoming servers. Does that mean that I'll never play on Homecoming again? I can't really answer that, but that's pretty much it. You can literally be logged in and playing on the Thunder Spy server within a matter of minutes. I do, however, want to take just a brief moment and also let people know that this video is not about uh, creating some crazy competition between the private servers, and it's not about discussing which one is better. They each bring something unique, and will Thunderspy be my final destination? I don't really know the answer to that yet, but we're definitely going to try it out. Do I potentially visit uh, Rebirth or uh, Cake or some of these other ones? Maybe. I don't really know yet, but again, we're, we're going to give a Thunderspy a shot, see how our experience is and how we feel about it, and then we'll go from there. But yes, any content I create or streams that I do will take place on the Thunderspy server. Again, for reasons out of my control. Uh, you can check out that video that goes into detail on that uh, that'll be down in my pinned comment uh, or you can check out again the Twitch channel where we dove deep into it and put everything on the table. This is also not a video that's about bashing homecoming either. I've been very transparent about that that uh, I, I don't have any hard feelings and again I'm not trying to pull people over. It is what it is. I'm seeing a lot of people put words in my mouth on various Facebook pages and forums and things like that. So I've just decided to step away from them and just not even pay any attention to them. So you guys that have been here for a long time know how I feel about things. You know how I do things. And I, I shouldn't let it worry me anymore, to be honest. So I'm super excited for those of you that do want to join in and start a new journey, leveling from 1 to 50 once again. I might take this opportunity to create something entirely different and i i don't know yet what that's gonna be maybe we'll create one on stream i'm not sure yet maybe you guys can help me out on on picking something and making a decision because i'm very indecisive but we'll see uh hopefully i'll see you guys in paragon city real soon positive gamer peace out